Assalamu alaikum. Hey guys, I'm back with another super important video. Today's video is entirely uh, designed and dedicated to debugging a problem that is created, uh, especially when you are trying to convert your shift file into GIF file. Before entering the actual video tutorial, let me just show you where I'm working right now and which platform I'm using. This is arc map and I am using that one as well. I have with me the shift file of Hobigons district. That's the northeastern part of Bangladesh. As I'm uh, working on the existing shift file, I have made some addition, some features, some polygons. So to do save these polygons, my addition, I have to go to the editor option and go down settle down to stop editing and click this once I have done it my shift file edition all the things that I have just customized will be saved automatically to the permanent file to the parent file that where I have deposited earlier so the thing is that the next task I have to just convert this shape file into the file to compress it to make it smaller in size so to do so i have to return to the parent file where i have deposited one and uh, this pathway shows that it is under uh, a folder under tutorial materials headlines or folder okay so let's search for uh, these keywords here uh, tutorials tutorials where is tutorials materials uh, okay we have got this one and this is hobbygons 100% the same file we were working on arcmap here are a bunch of file in between and interlinked to each other uh, there are subsequently nine files over there however all files are not the integral part of making your shift file one file that is the i mean google earth file this one particularly seems to be the outsider so this outsider uh, might have created uh, some issues while converting your shape file into zip file let's see what happens i will show you later before going to the process i want to remind you one very very important thing about making your shape file is that there are three main file principal file uh, to make your shift file and if one of them get messed up from your list your whole system of shift file will be dismantled and you will no longer be able to open up even uh, not uh, be able to create your shift file what are those this one the first one very very integral and core component of your shape file it basically uh, contains the geometric shape of your polygon that you will create uh, in your shape file the next one is sbx file which stands for index file uh, which subsumes the uh, feature feature of your polygon and last but not not the least one is the uh, I mean DBF file DBF file is nothing but the D base file so all these three files uh, you should uh, keep an eye on it all this time because this is very sensitive if one of them get missed off you will be missed off sometime even okay so let's just get back to our process of making your uh, G file from a shift file to do so first of all you have to select all the existing file and we can do that by uh, following various methods i have i will be using the very conventional wall just click the first file and press your shift button uh, keeping it intact and go down reach the last one and uh, click, the, uh, click that one and you'll see that all these files have been selected just the next step is select the right button of your mouse go to the send to option and from send to option turn right and from top to the second one compass one click this one 
what comes up yeah this is very interesting and upsetting as well this is an admonitory file with the caution or warning sign and it says that file not found or read permission although all the files are existing here and we can visualize easily so there is something happen wrong happen we have to dig it up and we have to solve it particularly let me say uh, let me tell you this issue i mean this compressing issue i mean failing issue can be solved or tackled by using uh, or following to a different method don't worry i will walk you through both of them the first one the first method is just unselect unselect this one i mean the debugging file uh, i mean bugging file which can create problem and select all this file except this one i would say so to do so first of all just select all the nine files existing here and just deselect or unselect the file that you don't wanna uh, i mean keep it uh, with your file okay i just unselect or deselect this one look at this it, 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 it turns out to be I mean white color and all this one is kind of I mean greenish or bluish okay just the rest of the method is very easy you just have to follow the earlier method go to the send from send to compress and click this okay look at this it's been done okay you have uh, got the same name in your file that was uh, in your uh, I mean original file okay one method following it we have solved it the other one is just uh, I mean turning off your uh, ArcGIS from your computer so I will show you before I mean going to that method method let me just delete it so that we can recognize uh, that we will have I mean a new uh, a GIF file in the second method okay just i have deleted it and i'm going to arcmap and let me just put it off okay one thing one thing i wanna just draw your attention once i have turned off my arcgis immediately instantaneously the google earth file has disappeared from this list that's the case that's why i have to just art, uh, turn off my arcgis as there is a link between arcgis and google earth software so i will not go to i mean details uh, uh, in this video i will make another tutorial on this okay so now the process is same as i did for the first one select all this file okay and press the right button of your mouse, go to send and send to compass and click this. Okay. We have got another, uh, I mean, GIF file following the second method that I have described in this video. So that's all for the time being. I hope you guys liked my video. If you did so, please do subscribe to my channel. I will come up with another new video. Till then, bye-bye.